All right, so what is up, guys? Welcome back to part three of my first Ace Combat 7 playthrough. Here we go. Surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier Kestrel II was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel II is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone. MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. Alrighty, so there's a little bit more of the plot. Looks like we're going to do a air superiority mission. And it looks like we have the Kestrel 2 as well, so that's dope. I like it, the cutting edge aircraft carrier. I just want to check something and see because I think if we use the F4, we don't add level up our aircraft tree, which is kind of annoying, I guess you might say. So we might actually use the F-16. Or actually, my bad, we, we have to purchase this F-14, which will start unlocking parts. So I think a good idea would be to get the A-10 at some point or another. So it looks like we can open up that path by buying these. Uh, unless there's something else, because the YF-23 is quite far back in the tree. Oh my gosh, how much MRP was that? 875,000, my lord. We only have 120-something thousand after two missions. That might take a while. Let's see, what else? Oh, the A-10. Okay, so that's a dead end right there, but that unlocks the F-18. So... What I think I'm going to do is I'm... Ooh, what is this lock thing right here? After you achieve... Air, oh, so this is a, a limiter. Oh, so these are all... Okay, multiplayer only. Oh, these are a bunch of parts. Holy cow. For multiplayer. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase the F-14. So let's do that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not like a mega massive fan of the uh, Tomcat, but it is, it is a nice looking plane. I mean, I would, I would fly the uh, F-14 if I do say so myself. It is a nice looking aircraft. Not my favorite, but it is, it is a nice aircraft. So while we do that, I'm also going to unlock this so I can equip it 
to the F4. I mean, you guys have to expect me to use the F4 for a little bit as we sort of level up here. The F16 is not my speed. I'm not too huge on the F16. Uh, so, ooh, the F18 is 285,000, so that must be good. Or the A10 Thunderbolt. Interesting, they're doing the A10C instead of the A10A. So, that's a bit of a departure from previous games. So, just unlock the F14. Uh, F4, wow, is faster than the F14. So I don't know how realistic that is, especially especially the D Tomcat had much str uh, stronger engines than the the original. Let me take, what is the Lamb? Will tell me, extremely long. The target evades one. So can I fire like four of these? Cause those are Phoenix missiles. I think for now I'm gonna stick to my trusty F4 though. I feel, me personally, I feel like it's the right thing to do. So let's also equip the new rudder actuators. So that improves our yaw ability. And let's go. Mage Squadron, let's roll out. So maybe I might use the F-14 later, but I always value speed a lot. So, looks like Choppenberg, I forget, did he say that was over uh, Yuja? Two-pronged strategy, that's an interesting name for a mission. That's another thing, the names for missions are very interesting. Alright, so it looks like we have a air-to-air -air refueling to do. Wow, that was... Oh, 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 oh. That was easy. That's easier than it's been in the past. I mean, it had me centered right on the... Uh... Oh my. Look at this. I love this, dude. That squadron of aircraft. We're, we're rolling in hot into... Uh... Fusion territory here. So we got our man Clown with us. So this was one of the demo missions, I believe. We have the upper hand though, so that's good. <laughs> so we're going to shoot down an F4 here. Wasn't sure if that missile was going to hit at that angle. In other games, I don't think it would have. So, here we go. Pure dogfighting and... Flying brick. This should be interesting. I mean, I got a good handle on the F4, but it's certainly not easy by any means since this thing is very sluggish. Ah, oh, this guy's on my tail. So, oh, so we do have flares in this game. I didn't even recognize. I'm so used to not using flares. All right, I'm gonna high G turn here for a second. So we did lose a pair of missiles there, but I feel like we should be okay if we're more careful. So I suppose we're clearing out fighters to clear the path to get to um, the space elevator here. I don't like how these guys are in the clouds. Again, as of right now, I'm not a fan of the clouds. I find them quite annoying. Yeah, see, my missile. Yep. Come on. Come on, game. Don't piss me off. I'm just going to double tap this guy. Already lost another pair of missiles there. I mean, why do these guys have to keep flying through the damn clouds? Come on. 
Get out of the clouds. This guy's being... I think I have a feeling why they aren't pulling out, because I have seen gameplay of this mission before. I'm well aware of what happens afterwards, but I won't spoil that for you guys. So it looks like the double ugly did a good job here. This is definitely not the end of the mission, of course. Wish I had a... Oh. Yep, there we go. Wish I had a different uh, paint scheme for the uh, F4. Be kind of nice. There it is, folks. The Arsenal bird. Basically, like the new Ark bird, except it's not really the Ark bird with those propellers. I'm guessing Yerusha is taking control of this. Let's go get them, boys. Yep, there we go. So, these SASMs seem... Oh boy. It's like the 8492 diving head on into this. I want to use my SASMs here. So I got a hit. I think I'm going to have to double tap. There we go. Oh. Alright, I like it. We're, we're tackling the threat head on here. So, SASM seems good against these UAVs because they're very maneuverable, so that's what I'm going to use these on. And then I think I'll take out the Arsenal Bird with the conventional missions. I know I should probably be using my flares, but, you know, I'm not used to using flares. Alright, I'm using flares there. Where are all these missile locks coming from? Does this come from the Arsenal Bird? I can't check because I'm pursuing UAV. Come on, Sazam. There we go. What? Only a hit. I put two on that guy. Oh, that was, I just wasted two missiles right there. So do we go after the Arsenal Bird now? Alright, that's definitely a hit right there. Maybe not. Here we go. They're flying into the clouds. We're good, we're good. Everyone's panicking, but we're good. I think we're doing a good job taking out these drones. Maybe if they... If they just stop... No, we don't need to withdraw. I don't know why. Okay, good. Alright, so we're still pursuing. I don't want to keep on these drones. So I guess we won't get a chance to touch the Arsenal Bird, even though I didn't even try. Ah, uh, come on. My F4 is too slow. Well, not too slow, not stable enough. I can't. It's a very sluggish aircraft at slow speed. So I don't know if I should have attacked the Arsenal Bird yet, but maybe it was a good idea because it would have, like, destroyed me. And I don't want to replay the mission a second time.
Wow, looks like we got more drones. How am I doing on missiles? I got plenty. I wish I had more of those burst missiles, though. Even though those are kind of weak against the drones, I feel like... Come on, drone. Uh-oh, we gotta save these guys. Hey, get off my friend there. Of course, these guys are flying into the clouds again. can't get close to this guy. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, missile. How is that missing? I literally have a perfect lock. Jesus. Okay, that that that's that's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda of pissed me off right there. How many missiles I had to waste on that damn UAV. I mean I was literally right behind him on his six o'clock and he just Dodges it. Yeah, he almost did it there again, too. Maybe I should have saved more missiles. Because I'm, I'm, I'm running a little low. Not super low, but not, I'm not comfortably... not at a comfortable level again. I don't see this aircraft that everyone's talking about. I don't know. I, maybe because I got my eyes on the UAV. There's another one down. We're getting a handle on these UAVs. I think we got to attack them when they're attacking our friends here. We almost have it, though. See, I don't know. Like, that was a arguably bad shot, and it still destroyed the UAV, but I was taking some good shots earlier, and somehow it managed to dodge them all. I don't know. I don't get that. I don't like inconsistency. I never have. Like, I don't know if that's going to hit. It looks like it will, though. Somehow it does. Even though the guy's in the clouds... So we got 10 missiles left. These guys are in the clouds. I gotcha. I don't see this SU-30. Where is the SU-30? Yeah, let's go after this guy. I wanted to destroy the arsenal board. I was, I'm curious to see what happens if you did attack it. Because I just went after the UAVs. Maybe I'll see that in the second playthrough. But I guess we'll stick with this for now. I don't know if that girl's dead, but hopefully she ejected. Alright, mission accomplished, so we succeeded. Let's take a look at what's going on here. I thought we destroyed all the UAVs, but I mean, whatever. We'll 
think I guess we'll see in the future. All right, looks like we're gonna do a landing here. I always love to do these. This is the Fort Grays Air Base. It's almost like reminds me of Sand Island a little bit, like a tropical Sand Island. Shut up. I know how to land an airplane. As long as this works like it has in previous Ace Combat games. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why was it doing autopilot? Okay, I'm sorry guys for that. Oh my gosh, can it stop doing autopilot? I'm not sure what just happened there. It just kept going, doing autopilot. Normally my landings are not that messy. But I guess the guy said it was perfect, so we're good. Because that has to do with the time limit usually. So let's skip that replay and see what the debriefing is for this. It looks like we earned another trophy. The two front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestel 2 was sunk. No. Carrier board aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas. And this has turned public opinion in neutral countries. Oh my god, the Kestrel 2 was destroyed? Are you serious? If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. Ugh. We have precious little time, however. You new guys know I'm a big fan of the Kestrel. The fact that it's sunk this early in the game, that's kind of that's kind of BS. All right, we got an A. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know if that's an S rank. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next mission. Stay.